And what's going on guys, we return with more Soul Sacrifice. Now we are on the newest chapter, I think it's uh, chapter 3 of Destinies of Past. I think it's chapter 3 or 4. Yep, chapter 3 of Destinies Past. And the difficulties is just going up and up and up. <laughs> so what I might need to do is actually replay some of these older quests. But I'll do that off camera because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me repeating the quest over and over and over again. I might do that on stream, but I won't do it on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, let's push select real quick. Never mind. I thought select would give us some more details. Oh, wait. Triangle does, I bet. Floating city, Aquarius East. So another fight in this same place. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue from chapter 3 of Destiny's Past. This was not the first time I had met this sorcerer. Huh? So Tiara. Her name is in a zebra. I was about to say, she kind of looked like So Tiara. <laughs> in a zebra claims that she is despondent over Magusa's rejection of her. <laughs> she mad because she can't get the D. That explains why she detests me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because I stand at Magusa's side instead of her. She wants the D, but she can't get sick. She had besieged us several times before. The slime that we now face was also her work. That hoe jealous. Fuck that hoe. Yeah, I fuck with Magusa. Fuck you. <laughs> Come, let us die together. <laughs> I had heard that line before. Sounds like Sotiara. Ilicebra refuses to die alone. She claims to have been Magusa's former partner, but I am not ready to believe that. Magusa was getting it in with Ilicebra. He was macking it up. Until... Julia Rodriguez spiced up the game. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's continue the game. Julia, making girls jealous since 1991. You need to stay with Magusa. The voice has been telling me that from the beginning. And when I say Elisibra, the voice only grows louder. The voice of Sotiara's arm. What do you got to say, Magasar? It's her again. <laughs> Damn, she like Harlequin. Come on. So, why oh, I still get hit by the ice. That's messed up. What the hell just happened? He's Hold on! Here. Yeah, take that! Oh! <laughs> I gotta fight it from a distance, just like Soul Tiara. We could trust each other. Boom! What about the love we shared? Look at that, I told you! She missing the D. She missing the D. Those wounds of yours need to be treated. Oh, she is fucking me up right now. Let me get behind Magasar. <laughs> You fucking mutt! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> that mutt, man. Ooh. 
Where did he go? I'm about to sacrifice him. Let's see what weapon we can create from here. Oh, a stone axe, huh? She might be actually be weak against stone. Oh, I got too close. Oh, I thought I dodged. And I got hit twice. I got crossed up. I got crossed up in soul sacrifice. And I'm about to die. I am about to die. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Run! Fall <laughs> back, I almost died. That bitch crossed me up, man. <laughs> I'm so mad at that. I got crossed up in soul sacrifice. That was nonsense. Oh. Oh, she dashes up. Okay, she got smart. In spite of all that, how could you? Oh, she's. Ugh. She was pissing me off. Oh my god, her magic goes so far. He's a mere scrap. No, 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 no. I meant to sacrifice, but you know what? It's good. Damn, that shit splits off. Damn, she is after me. She ain't even trying to go after Magusar. How could she take my place? You mad? Cause I'm a Latina. You just a crazy bitch. <laughs> you crazy bitch? He's a mess. Oh, uh. the enemy is strong. We must be on our guard. Those wounds of yours must be treated. Woo! Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't mean to use it. Oh, <laughs> I still got her though. That was nice. I still was able to hit her with that damn last attack. Get over here. You're almost dead. Hey, get him, Magusar. Get him, Magusar. Sure, what's up? Strong arm that hole. <laughs> Do what you need to, bro. Oh, shit. 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 Julia Rodriguez did nothing to you! <laughs> Leave me alone! He's a mere stretch. Woo! Launched her! Launched her ass! Ah! Don't want to get frozen, so let's back off. Die together. What? I just killed her, didn't I? I said quick quest. What is she trying to do? Huh? I beat her, but we didn't even get a chance to save or sacrifice her. I guess he retreats. I, I guess that's what's about to happen. She's about to retreat. That sucks. I gotta replay that over again. Attunement sigil. Surgeon sigil. I wanna see what that does. Like the way she affectionately refers to Magusa. 
You will want to meet me again, I know. You'll come and seek me. What? Saying this, Illa Zebra left us be. She gives me a strange feeling. That crazy ex. <laughs> That's what she is. She's a crazy ex. Magusa tells me that they have no past whatsoever as partners. Oh, whatever you say, Magusa. Maybe she absorbs somebody that did, maybe. Who knows? Just who is she? A perfect stranger. He lies through his teeth. That is what Magusa said. Magusa lying. But eerily, the expressions of love and hate that Illa Zebra directs at Magusa feel deeply sincere. Is it only me who feels unease when I see this mysterious sorceress? Seven days until the end of the world. That was weird, because remember? You remember what Magusa said during the battle? He was like, this girl again or something? He said something of, along those lines. He was like, her again or something? Magusar lying through his teeth. She claims to have been Magusar's former partner, but he says otherwise. Is Ilicebra a liar, a madwoman, or both? I think she's just a bitch. Read on to learn the truth. Destiny's past. Chapter four. <laughs> I suppose it was no surprise we fell for Illicebra's trap. Oh boy. We now find ourselves in the position of searching for her. You see, she's taken a hostage. And who is this hostage? It was an intricate ploy. The slime was the bait that lured us in. I never enjoyed dealing with Illicebra. One look at her face and I feel nauseated, and my arm smarts. Just tracking down her hideout weighed heavily upon me. <laughs> the rancid egg spider. Let's see the difficulty for. All right, so let's take this one on. This might be the last one I take on. If it's too hard, it'll be the last one we take on for today. Gluttonous fruit, venom blanket, iron drake egg for the rewards. The iron drake egg is actually a medium. Okay. <laughs> Attack amp plus 10 and defense amp plus 10. That sounds pretty cool. I like my defense how it is though right now. Surgeon sigil. Oh, nice. Area healing magic amp plus 20. And then plus 15 using the divine arm. What do I need for that? I need sawbones LE. Ah, oh, where the hell do I get sawbones at? Mmm. You know what, let's go ahead and recut the frost damper, yeah. So, I'm not even sure what the hell that scapegoat recoverer shit is. I'm not even sure what that means. But all I do know is we gotta renew this. I gotta stop breaking my damn offerings. <laughs> I don't try to, but man, I can't help it. Alright, let's do it. The zebra had had us wrapped around her little finger, and I didn't even realize such utterly despicable, despicable behavior is exactly what I should have expected from her. Perhaps all the souls I have absorbed are having an effect. I can no longer be certain of my own memories. Even the journal feels like it was written by another's hands. What was up with the whispering? I'm worried about the hostage. We must hurry. 
What is this hostage? Who is the Ajum is dying? Whoa! How the hell do we get over there, yo? Whoa! This is new. <laughs> what they brought to this damn uh, stage. Come on. Before we get attacked. Oh my god. There we go. These are mere scratches. Is he dead? No, he's not. I was never helped. So I'm guessing now we just gotta destroy these spiders. Are you alright? We've done enough. Get back. I love this quick movement. It's so good. This teleport. <laughs> it's so awesome. Just looking at it, just teleport like a boss like that? Pull back Whoa! Why not some I think there's someone's around me. Nope. I can hit. I can heal. Nice. Alright, let's get back up there and help him. Oh! Goodbye! Ugh. This sacrifice. Hey, watch this, watch this. This is gonna be nice. Uh, boom! How long came a spider? Uh. This wound? Boom! Okay. Let's go ahead and sacrifice this spider. A rancid egg. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? He just got jumped by spiders. Uh-uh, stop what you're doing. Very impressive. The hell, they turned into like these small little rats. Alright, that was an easier quest. Woo! That quest was pretty damn easy. Yeah. Look at my beautiful face. I'm Julia Gonzalez. I really like to dance. Cause I'm in a dancer costume. I like to dance all day. <laughs> Elven Heights. That's what they call that place. Gluttonous fruit. Draw enemy attention with an appetizing meal. Venom blanket. Can draw a lethal toxin within an area to damage all who enter in. New phantom quest available. You rescued a sorcerer who was nearly killed by monsters. The sorcerer spoke. I wish to lend my hand. Ah, so he has a divine arm. Alright. Nice. We lifted the key memory from the slime that Illicebra set upon us. Illicebra had taken a man's wife hostage. The man loved his wife deeply and was determined to rescue her. Why do we care about this man's wife? These powerful urges transformed the man into a monster, giving birth to that slime. She sold a story to the man and turned him into that humanoid slime. She said his wife would be safe if he killed the sorcerer. Ah, this. I thought we. I thought we saved him. that slime. And he became our sacrifice. Oh, never mind. Our right arms inherited the man's profound love for his wife. 
He wished to have her back. Ilicebra was beginning to bother me. Her face concerned me. The striking resemblance. I never thought that I would have to see that face again. I wanted to forget, but she will not let me. Ilicebra could be her twin. Really? Ilicebra perfectly resembles Sortiara, who should be long dead. I said the same thing like two chapters ago. Seven days until the end of the world. Did I not say that she looked like her? Can you believe that Ilicebra and Sortiara were connected? The encounter with Ilicebra was in some way a reunion with Sortiara. Our dear author must have been horrified. Destiny's Pass. I, I guess we can finish this chapter and then after this one we'll call it a day for a soul sacrifice. The man that Ilicebra used as her pawn must have loved his wife deeply. From within our right arms, the man's soul let out a tragic cry. For she too has turned into a terrible beast. Your husband was killed by a duo of very wicked sorcerers. Hearing that drove her mad on the spot, and she became a monster. These are the two who are responsible for your loss. Go ahead, avenge him. The soul of the husband who was transformed into a monster dwelled in our right arms. His soul spoke to me through my arm. Save my dear wife. I was torn between choices. This game would have been like 6,000 times better if Morgan Freeman did the narration to this story. <laughs> a slaughter between lovers. It was a deplorable setup. Don't forget. Our goal, our mission, as sorcerers. The voice of reason, Magusa. The only way forward is to kill. It's a pretty fucked up motive. Carnivorous slime. We just fought this guy, didn't we? Alright. What is the carnivorous slime weak to? Can we, can we find out his damn weakness by weakness? That sucks. I thought maybe they'd tell you, like, uh, how to deal with the slime or something. That sucks. They don't give you no weaknesses, nothing. They just tell you, like, some backstory on the damn slime. Alright, so we got the healing stuff. You know what? Where's that damn golem? I want that golem back. It just does so much damage, and it seems very helpful. Alright, so let's do this shit. Ilicebra excels at taking advantage of people's weakness. That couple was so poor, and Ilicebra knew that she used it without a second pause. The wife had transformed hideously and the husband had let out a cry from within my arm. We were flooded with memories, sights, and sounds of happier times for this tra tragic couple. Too bad we gotta kill him. Or kill her. You must remain focused, even if your heart is split open. Alright. So let's do damn we're underground or something? I would expect nothing less. Alright, I'll leave those guys for later when I run out of uh things to summon. 
Alright, let's go ahead and summon. Oh, son of a bitch, he smacked me. Alright, I got it out. Smack him again, Golem. He's a mere Stay focused. I got hit by his tail? Come on. Alright, alright. Woo! Almost got hit by that shit. Oh my god. It looks like he can grab you. These are mere scratches. Alright, we need to renew our damn offering power before we even attempt to go at them again. Alright, destroy one of his foots. Uh. Uh. Alright, time to summon a golem. Alright, now let's back off real quick. Keep this. You mad, bruh? That hurt! Oh my god! This dude just completely jumped on me. That was retarded. Our enemy is strong. We must be on our own. <laughs> These are mere scratches. Ah oh shit, he's jumping. Of course. Our enemy is strong. We must be on our own. Boom. What? Come on, break out. Jeez. <laughs> Luckily, I got knocked down before he jumped. These are mere scratches. Those wounds are not going to be treated. Alright, we got this. We got this. One more push and we got this. These are mere scratches. He's jumping. We must be on our guard. Stay focused. Those wounds of yours need to be
Here we go, one more time. Uh, one more time to break it. Come on, he's not breaking his damn hand. Yeah, there we go. We finally broke his shit. There we go. Woo! We handled that boss. <laughs> that was good. That boss was interesting. Wasn't too hard. I thought it was going to be a little bit tougher since the difficulty uh, star rating was a little bit higher than most of the other chapters. But I guess he was nothing. Ah, you son of a bitch! Screw the sorcerer's code. We save people, son. That's what we do. Yulia Rodriguez saves. She doesn't kill. Well, she well she does kill, but she doesn't sacrifice. <laughs> Yulia Rodriguez does it once again. Cursed part. Thunder Drake Egg. All right. Another boss down. I couldn't deal the death blow. Without preamble, Nagasa spoke. Live on. Be happy. I will be watching. It was the soul of the husband, from within Magusar's right arm. The wife broke down in tears, and peered at Magusar's right arm and said, Thank you. A fleeting reunion. This was all we could offer, as atonement. Was this deed a selfish act? Perhaps. But there is little the survivors of the dead can do to atone. Our actions weigh heavily upon us. I have felt an onus ever since the moment I sacrificed Sultiara. If that too was an act of selfishness. I wonder why I can never seem to leave it behind. What can be done so that these lost souls may rest in peace? It is we, the living, who are left to brood on such matters. I feel certain that Ilicebra will cause us further difficulty. Let's go kill that bitch. Magusa was disgusted by her designs to take us with her in death. We cannot afford to indulge that old crone. Old crone? Did you say old crone? <laughs> yes, but is she not just that? Was it only me? Did Ilicebra only resemble Sortiara through my eyes? Why did she take the face of Sortiara? Uh-oh. Perhaps I am already insane. And I'm just the last to know. Six days until the end of the world. The last to know. I'm impressed. Very few have managed to read this far. <laughs> Before getting you off by Magusar. After all. Reflection. How I met Magusar. Yep. Alright, so I guess we'll do that later. 
We'll read this How I Met Magasar next time. Because right now, I'm getting a little bit tired. I need to get some sleep. I need to get something to eat. I need to take a break. I might record later today, but right now, I'm going to take a short break. We will return with more Hello. soul sacrifice later. Have you checked for droplets recently? Of course, after I wipe the jizz from his face. <laughs>